Come on, puppy. Why are you tangled up? Come on. Come here, Sarge. Come here, boy. Come here. You little evil genius. Sarge, come on. Come on, Aiden. Come on, Sarge. Come on, come on. I gotta catch him. I found that there's a proper etiquette when walking your dog. They say that your dog should always stay on the left and when you're on the trail you should stay on the right. Sounds reasonable. If it's hot you should always bring water and when it's cold you should always bring water. They should have said you should always bring water. Walking your dog helps his weight and yours and both of your mental health. Some dogs only go pee and poop when they're on the walk. My dog only likes to poop in the yards of people I hate. Just a few weeks ago, I was checking my mail and I saw a neighbor walking without his dogs or his wife. I said, hey, you're walking without your dogs today. He said they both died. My wife died too. If I had just nodded, it would have spared the story of his dead dogs and wife and how he's now alone. So the proper dog etiquette in that is just a nod and don't initiate conversation, especially when there's dead dogs and wives involved. Later, my daughter said, hey, I saw you talking to the neighbor. Did you know his wife and dogs died? I said, yes. She said, did you ask him how they died? I said, no. She said, how did you respond? Well, I said, I have a reversal of fortune. I got a puppy and a divorce. She screamed laughing and then said, you didn't really say that, did you, Dad? Back to walking the dog etiquette. They say you should walk your dog at least once a day if you can. They say you should teach your dog to stop at every crosswalk and look both ways before crossing. And they also say you shouldn't walk your dog in the street. I'm starting to think they think we're a bunch of fucking idiots. What they don't say is when you're walking your dog, the view of your dog's butt never changes. It's like being a driver of a dog sled. I often fancy myself as being on the Iditarod in Alaska. I walk my dogs because they love it. I love it too. Although sometimes it's a little stressful when people run up on you and try to pet your dogs. I wonder where these people are from that they think it's a good idea to run up and try to pet a German Shepherd. Are their ancestors the people that chase wolves down to snuggle with them? I wouldn't run up on a poodle to pet it. I once bought a German Shepherd mask to see how my dogs would react. I first showed Aiden it was me and put it on. No, because I didn't want to be murdered on that day. Then I walked up to the two white German Shepherd puppies. The first one, the larger one, barked at me and then ran away. Her sister then looked at me and released all her anal glands all over the kitchen floor. And this is why men's auto insurance is a lot higher than women's. We have poor decision-making skills. Now I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, walking dogs. Dogs have the wonderful ability to sense what you're thinking. When you see someone walking towards you, you become apprehensive and worried that your dog's going to bite them. Your dogs sense your fear and immediately want to bite them. German Shepherds are really intense. My daughter says that dogs take on the owner's personality. 
I don't know what she means by that, but I think she's insulting me. All my dogs are people unfriendly. Of all the eight dogs I had, only two of them I couldn't trust around people. Maya, and of course Aiden being one of them. Still, Aiden is the best dog I ever had. I wouldn't trade him for another. He'll just bite the hell out of you if he thinks you're a threat to me. My aunt also has a German Shepherd that looks just like Aiden. I said, you know, Aiden will bite people if they get too close to me or if he feels they're a threat. She goes, yeah, my dog just bit my best friend in the stomach. But maybe he's telling you something. I never think it's the dog's fault. One time, a neighbor stuck his hand in my car window and Aiden bit it. He had to go to the emergency room. Fortunately, he didn't press charges or even name the dog. Because in Florida, they'll come take the dog. I already had an excuse. I was going to say, yeah, we got rid of that dog. That was another dog. My brother lives out in the country, and he took it behind the barn like old yellow. I'm going to miss that dog. And then they might say, well, we need to talk to your brother. And I'd say, yeah, he shot himself right after that. Right behind the barn. It's a country thing. In America, we'll do anything to protect our animals. Unless they're edible. But, on, fortunately, way. I didn't have to say any of that. Yeah. And my yeah. neighbor's a good person. In fact, yeah. his dog bit me in the hand one time. I think that's probably why he didn't do anything. Okay. Or sue me. I know I started this video off on the best ways to walk your dog, or dog etiquette. But clearly, I'm not a good authority on the subject. I'm sorry it took you this long to realize that. Frankly, I'm probably a bad dog walker. So if you could click the subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> so now for the next few minutes, we can listen to relaxing music while looking at the dog's butts. Thank you. 
you got a poop, this lush grass is the best place for it. I think I might do it myself. Come on, puppy. Why are you tangled up? Come on. Come here. Sarge. Come here, boy. Come here. You little evil genius. Sarge. Come on. Come on, Aiden. Come on, Sarge. Come on, come on. I gotta catch him. Hang on. Sarge. And he was never seen again.
Your first mistake was not listening to me. Let's go. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.